come today to show you my next art journal page bling for Woolly Steph's Art Club. Um, I'll show you that in a moment, but first I need to do two VRs for two very lovely crafters here on YouTube. The first one is for the board crafter, and that is Tracy Susan on YouTube. She's having a, a Christmas themed giveaway with lots of Christmas crafting goodies. What she would like you to do is share her video on or her channel on any of her social media like Instagram, Facebook or whatever, or do a VR. She wants you to go back to her video and comment where you've promoted the, the competition um, and leave a channel link if you do a VR to, in the description. Um, or a link in your Instagram just so people can get to, to her channel and to the video. If you do a VR, it's got to be at least a minute long. It opened on the Sunday the 5th of yesterday and is running until the 12th of December, so not too long. She's going to do the draw on either the 12th or 13th. So that's that one. And the other VR is for the car boot crafter, who's Teresa. She's having a Road to 500 giveaway. Um, she's I think on 450 something subscribers so she wants to try and get to 500 again she wants you to share her channel or the video um, on your social media or do a VR and then again she wants you to go back and comment on her video to tell her where you've actually promoted the, the channel a challenge just so she can go and have a look this one's running until New Year's Eve and she's going to do the draw on New Year's Day. So the prizes for that one, to, um, prizes for that giveaway aren't Christmas themed. Lovely prizes though. So go along and say for the board crafter, Tracy Susan and the car boot crafter. And I'll leave both links to their videos, their channel, their giveaway videos in the description below. Right, so that's the VRs out of the way. And I'm going to show you my bling page and there we go i've just covered it in gems i've got a lot of these gems in my stash so i already had an idea that i wanted to use those as a background and it was just a case of working out what sort of image i wanted to to create in the middle and i keep moving around that's the only thing see that one's come off so i'm not sure whether this is going to survive in my um, in my album. Because, I mean, I've just stuck them down using their own sticky on the back. I mean, I could have used the Cosmic Shimmer Glue to stick each one down, but it would have taken twice as long and it already took a long time to do as it was. So I have got a spray that I may be able to spray over them. Um, I'll see if I can put my hand to that. This, this here, um, shine and spray and shine, and it's like a varnish over the top. I might give that a go and see if that does anything. I don't know, but I like the butter. What I did initially was on the four by four piece of card. I just stamped a butterfly stamp that I have, and I just stamped it in antique linen. So it was just a, a faint guide for me to to just stick the the gems down and i tried to keep it symmetrical obviously with the butterfly being that way um there they are starting every time i look at them they, they seem to move i'll have a go with that spray before i stick them into my book but my book isn't doesn't really look as full as everybody else's i've noticed i don't know whether mine have been quite flat i haven't there's not a lot of dimension on mine but I thought I'd have a look, see if I've got another one on my finger, I don't know where that's come from. Just stick that back down there. I thought I'd have a little quick flick through. I will continue with this book because I have got pages spare and then I could add, add more to it. As I say, it's still sitting quite, quite flat. So that was the first one, that was my summer page. And then that was the nature and then Halloween. And that was my snow globe for winter. The steampunk. I like that one. I enjoy doing that one. And then that was the funny one, which was quirky. And the floral. 
And then the little napkin birds have got a bit crushed in there, but that was the birds page. And the vintage, I like that one as well. And that one, I put that, I couldn't remember what this one was, but I put child up there for that one. And then fairy, numbers, and that was the doodle, it was entangle page. So I'm going to attempt, oh, I can see where there's a one missing now. Look, that's just vanished in that spin, what's to be in that one? I'll stick that one back on there. Mm. I'll try and use that spray maybe and then I'll stick it down on there and see how we go with that. There we go, so that's my my page for this month. I think um, Steph said she's going to have a little break, but I think when it gets to the 15th of December, I might do a Christmas one. I'll see if I've got time, so it's quite close to Christmas then, isn't it? But we'll see. But there we go, that's my page. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.